If you've been following along daily in the Word, today in chapter 8 of the story of Esther, we see God pulling all things together to save His chosen people. It begins when the king gives Queen Esther the house of Haman after his untimely death. Next, the king gave Mordecai, Esther's cousin, his signet ring and symbol of the king's ultimate authority. Then Queen Esther, appealing to the king on behalf of the Jews, said, For how can I endure to see the evil that will come to my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my countrymen? And the king responds to Esther's passionate plea, but not by rescinding his decree against the Jews. Even better, he tells Esther and Mordecai, you yourselves write a decree concerning the Jews, as you please, in the king's name, and seal it with the king's signet ring. For whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring, no one can revoke. See, sometimes God does what only he can do. The Jewish people have been targeted. Satan has launched an all-out attack through Haman, a trusted servant of the king. The king is deceived and he agrees to eliminate the Jews and evil Haman is promoted to a high and lofty position. But just when things couldn't get any worse for the Jews, God, working through a Jewish queen and her condemned cousin, reaches out from heaven and saves his chosen people. What's this story about the Jews have to do with you and I today? Well, through God's great plan of salvation, you and I have been grafted into his family. John 1 verse 12 says this, but to all who believe in him and accept him, he gave the right to become children of God. See, by believing in Jesus, we are God's chosen people and he's still reaching out from heaven to save us today. Like Esther and Mordecai, we have a very real enemy who has been on destroying God's people. But as those who belong to him, nothing, absolutely nothing can separate us from his love. So let you and I live in the confidence of God's love today. His love is faithful and it endures forever.